Now, one of the best ones as well, and one of the simplest ways, if you're familiar with AI art or creating your own designs as well, is just the text input. And you can swap and play around with all of these. There's also the image one as well. So let's say you figured out that this was a hot selling design, right? And you ran this specific design, like the main keywords into Etsy in an incognito browser, and just like the broad keywords and figured out that like, it was selling obviously for somebody, but there's not that many other people that are selling this similar design. What you could do is you could take this specific design design into this AI tool in the text prompt and just type in what you'd want. So you could say like angry raccoons or angry fat raccoon, generate an image, and then it'd be something very similar to this, but with your own spin on it. And then you could just overlay mentally sick, physically thick in there. You could also put that in the SEO and make a very similar design that you know is ranked. But again, you're differentiating you're bringing something new to the marketplace that other people might like better. And that way you're not copying the same exact design and competing on price and who's ranked higher SEO wise, right? That's the main thing here. Now, one of the last ways that I've been using this, and this is the best way, is if you go to the image input right here, one of the really cool things that has been working well for me on Etsy, and you, again, need to be really careful of IP here, but one of the things that's been working really well for me on Etsy is taking popular characters in TV shows and movies that are hot right now, and essentially taking their most popular quotes, but then cartoonizing them so that it's not the exact picture of them, and you can still utilize them in the picture and their quote, and then people that are searching for that specific person, that specific TV show, and that specific quote are gonna find your image, it's gonna be cartoonized so it looks really cool, and they're gonna wanna wear it and buy it, but also you're not really falling under the IP because you're not using that image, you created one yourself. Now, in one of my previous videos, I covered the Shit's Creek example of how I created cartoonized versions of David and put his like most popular quotes on an actual T-shirt and then sold them. That was one that was working really well for me, but another example of a TV show would be like the office so if we took like Dwight from the office we'd say like Dwight Schrute we get a picture of him let's just save this image we'll say Dwight and then we'll say like Dwight Schrute's most popular quotes look at some of his most popular quotes and pick one out so how would I describe myself three world Three words, hardworking alpha male jackhammer. That's kind of funny, but it wouldn't really go well on a t-shirt in my opinion. The eyes are the groin of the head. This is a funny one. This would go good on a mug and on a t-shirt, honestly. It's better to be hurt by someone you know accidentally than by a stranger on purpose. So if you wanted to take Dwight and then cartoonize him and then we could put his face on a t-shirt or a mug or a backpack or whatever with that popular quote, what you do is you go back into zmo.ai, you go to the image input this time and you'd open that Dwight image that you saved. And then from here, you could either turn him into anime, you could turn them into like an emoji, you could turn them into like a digital art, add any of the styles here so that it's very similar and he's recognizable as Dwight to somebody searching because he's like a cartoonized version of him. But at the same time, it's not the same exact picture so that you're going to get the IP complaint on that when you upload Dwight's face to a mug on Etsy. And this is one of the best strategies that's been working well for me on Etsy lately. Because again, a lot of people are searching for this. It's like almost like an emotional, like instant click thing when they see it and they like it. A lot of other people aren't competing in this space currently, not necessarily with The Office, but literally any TV show, any movie, the key here here is to turn them into anime or turn them into cartoons where they're recognizable but again, you're not using the exact image on, you know, of their face or whatever. But test this out. This image tool is crazy. You don't need any graphic design experience because again, you can just play around with it. Use the text input, the image input. You could swap something out specifically if you wanted to change something up. You could also go into the background and remove it, add a completely new background if you want to. There's a lot of use cases for this just in general, but especially in Etsy when you're creating print on demand designs and digital art designs as well. And again, you also don't need to hire a graphic designer and spent a lot of money just to create these designs as well. So test it out. I guarantee you it will change the way that you're able to make designs both speed wise, but also, you know, just subscribing to this monthly plan. I think there's one as low as like five bucks a month, but just subscribing to that $5 plan that I think is the base plan is going to save you so much time because you're not going to have to create them. It's also going to save you hundreds, if not thousands of dollars, because you would have had to otherwise outsource this to a graphic designer anyway.